Com. If someone has the measles, 90% of the people close to them will also get the measles if they haven't been vaccinated. You don't even have to be in the same room as someone with measles to get it. If they were in that room an hour or two before you, it's still lurking in the air and you could get it. When someone gets measles, they first will feel a sore throat, a fever, a runny nose. They might get pink eye and then the rash begins. The rash starts at the hairline and moves down from there. It's red, it's itchy. Now most people recover from measles and they're fine, but some people do get terrible complications. They can get pneumonia, they can have brain damage, and for every 1,000 people who get the measles, two or three of them will die. The Centers for Disease Control recommends that children get vaccinated between 12 and 15 months, and then get a second dose between four and six years old. So most of us have been vaccinated against measles, but there's a set of people who can't be vaccinated. Babies under the age of one, they're not routinely vaccinated, and people who have immune issues, for example, people who have cancer, they can't get vaccinated either. So all of us get vaccinated to protect them, and that's what's called herd immunity. So right now the outbreak is centered on California and mostly western states. However, it could spread across the country because people travel. People might not even know that they've been infected with measles. They get on a plane, they come to another state.